Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra Walter, coming to you from Sedona, from the beautiful vortex of Cathedral Rock. I'm actually in the saddle. It's Cathedral Rock behind me. And I found that the saddle area, which is like the, the dip in this mountain range, mountain range, canyon range, <laughs> uh, it, it's very powerful for me. Um, so I've enjoyed spending some time here, and I wanted to update everyone on this fifth, sixth dimensional gateway opening. Those of you who are joining in might be feeling a shift in your skills. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit because when we're working with, uh, let's say you're, you have some Pleiadian, Syrian, Lemurian connections, you might feel a, uh, a draw to, to sacred sites, an interest in crop circles, a strong connection. I mean, I can I can just feel it right now. It's just kind of seamless right now. And I think this is part of that whole spiritual maturity that I talked about as light servers were, were taking it up a notch. And this is becoming a very natural state of being. Of course, there's personal challenges along the way just with travel and, and stuff. But when it comes to, to the work, to the mission, to the journey, um, I'm I'm on it, and not only that, but I'm. It, it's co-creating with these sites, and it, it's like I said in my last video. You know, everything is becoming sacred on this planet. Um, it's a state of being. It's not religion in any way, shape, or form. But when you're working with the elementals and the kingdoms, uh, we're discovering that it it is a co-creative force going on. It's us, it's our galactic self. Very, I'm, I'm so aware of my galactic and intergalactic self right now. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's very fun. Because in, in the beginning, the experiences were, um, it felt like it was outside of myself. And now I realize it, it is myself and it's always been that way. This is part of the merge of the higher levels and lower expression. I don't even know how much longer you can even call yourself a, a lower expression. You know, if you're going through this merging process into this Christed state of consciousness, the unity, you're, it's, it, it takes it out of the realm of theory and, and uh, speculation as to how, just how unified we truly are, just how multi-dimensional we truly are. And when you're working with your multi-dimensional self, when you are your multi-dimensional self, and you come to a, a site like this, you're guided anywhere on the planet, even your backyard, to do this kind of work, or even if you have the intention and the desire to speed up and accelerate the shift in consciousness, to accelerate the ascension process, not just your own, but for, on behalf of all concerned, Gaia, humanity, the kingdoms, the elementals, what you're doing when you're working with, with these sites or working with the planet now is the, the sacred sites themselves that have been used for so many different purposes throughout, throughout uh, our long and, and diverse history here. And, and I'm not just talking Atlantis. I mean, Sedona is very connected to Atlantis. Um, a lot of the, uh, and we have that, that Wiesak moon coming up in May According to, to Tib and, and the Metatron channelings, uh, big moon in over Arizona in May. Um, and the, any, any time a, a marker like that comes up, it's not just, it's not just Tib marketing his, his uh, get-together, but it's, you know, he's doing it for a reason, so, so give him a break. But the, the gatherings and things like that, I mean, there's, there's always preparation, there's always confirmation. When you really follow your heart and you follow your intuition, you get on the road and things start presenting and then it's like, oh, and this, and this, and this, and by the way, it's preparation for this, and by the way, the frequencies are becoming uh, uh, impenetrable. You know, this is something that you can't manipulate anymore. Yes, folks are going to try. And again, when I say, you know, there is no more dark, I'm talking about, you know, negative ETs. You know, we're, I, I think it's beautiful, as I've said so many times, and I've, as I said in my course, I think it's beautiful that it's just up to humanity. You know, it's humans 
making their own decisions uh, without anybody, you know, standing behind them doing things, you know, that's, that, that's all gone. Now we're just dealing with ourselves, which is collective. And we have a big soul group from, that went through that Atlantean thing uh, that, you know, was trying to recreate the same thing, which was originally done on Mars. You know, if you, if you have some Arcturian blood, um, you might be, you might be, um, kind of, uh, in, intelligentsia goody two-shoes this time around because eh, you get a little bit of, a little bit of galactic karma going on with, uh, you know, the same thing had to play out on this planet that played out on Mars when it comes to the Atlantean, uh, um, phase of, of our history and you know I, I was on on the team back in Atlantis that was like you're you're gonna wreck it <laughs> you're gonna blow up the planet remember what happened on Mars you're gonna blow it up you're gonna blow don't do it and you know you do as, as much as you can and things things have to happen anyway it had to be repeated on earth but if you look around you know, there's, looks a little bit like Mars in some areas, <laughs> yeah, and, and this is why, you know, this isn't just iron oxide in the, in the rocks here, you know, this is not just oxidation going on, this is, this is, is, it's, yeah, red to the core, anywho, um, little distraction, but when it comes to working with sacred sites, the sacred sites themselves have never been through a shift in consciousness, all of these, all the, the ancient technology and everything, they have never been set up to deal with an activation and acceleration of the ascension of an entire planet or an entire race. So you can study ancient history as much as you want and go, oh, that was cool, that was cool. Please don't try to recreate it. Take what you need and discard the rest. That's, that's the rule over and over again. Learn, learn what you what you need, but don't follow anything blindly. Don't make it a religion, please. So when you're doing this kind of work, talk, you know, c communicate with the elementals. Communicate with the kingdoms, mineral kingdom. You know, get get yourself on on the ground, and try and understand that when you propose, you know, we're we're asking, we're honoring. Uh, even at Cathedral Rock, and how, how beautiful the energy is here. There is a, a... nothing is bigger than you are. And you are not bigger than anything else. You know, this is unity consciousness that we're moving into, and when we start learning about that, we, we get into a, an area of... it's, it's a, such a beautiful co-creation, it's constant exchange of information. I'm thinking about doing this, what if I place this crystal here? What if I do this? What if I do that? And they're, you know, they're, they're speaking right back to us and, and giving us information. So pay, pay attention. So when you, you hear Sedona and don't know what's going on, you know, for, for me, it's the site of some, some karmic drama that I cleared a long time ago and I had to walk, I had to go through the Mojave, I had to go through here, a couple of other places and go, okay, brand new. Brand new energy, completely different. All the old stories, gone, sealed, Akashic, <laughs> set on fire, poof, gone. Let it go. And, and I want to emphasize that too, because as we move into this creative intelligence, as we move into the divine love, the divine unity, the divine will, it is a beautiful co-creation, but it's brand new. So even, you know, whatever you're you're guided to do celebrate everybody's expression of what they're being presented with because it's going to be completely different and don't think i was in sedona 10 years ago and blah 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 or last year we already activated you know sedona doesn't need to be activated <laughs> another disaster or any of those other sites what we're doing is we're coming into these places with the intention of using the, the grid systems that have been completely restored and aligned. And this isn't just ley lines. This is like old stuff, new stuff, crystalline grid, all of these things finally aligned and work in 100% capacity. So when they get, when they got turned on in, wow, uh, last fall, 
when they got turned on, we're, we're able to, to use those. They were turned on for a reason. We made it. We made the ascension in December, and now we get to speed it up. And when the, in, when the information comes in to start opening up gateways, do this, do this, you know, you're opening up a gateway not to release the dark. You're, you're opening up a gateway to pull in those interdimensional frequencies, that photonic magnetic light, the information, pulling it into Gaia with your blessing, into Gaia's core, pull it in and expand and accelerate. And it, it affects every particle if you so choose, every particle of consciousness on this planet. And if you work with that intention, highest interest of all concerned, go, accelerate, speed up the shift, speed up the ascension. And when, when this kind of work starts presenting and then the, uh, you know, the, the, our misguided brothers start pulling really ridiculous stuff to, to distract, that's an immediate confirmation that, yes, indeed, energies are available right now, and they're, when I see, oh, wow, I don't watch television, so I, I don't remember when, when that event happened in Boston, but, uh, you know, walking by a, t a television in a, a cafe, and, you know, I see the little scroll thing, you know, three, three dead, 144 injured, and immediately, I'm, I'm not triggered by, oh, my gosh, oh, what happened? Oh, this is, you know, this is a sign or whatever. I see three, I see Trinity, and I see 144 activation. Trinity activation. We are receiving energies right now that are activating the divine state of humanity and activating the 144 that is that, that divine perfection. It's like a little key. doesn't work throughout the whole universe. Let's not go there. But here, during our activation, that 144, remember when I said it's like a combination lock? You'll get little things, little triggers for, for your personal thing or for this, for, for more of a, a galactic, more of a, a global activation. When, when you see those numbers coming up, it's like, you know, this is, this is the, the, uh, the little message that gets sent. And it do, it's inevitable, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone throws at you. It just, it just, it, it just rolls right off. It doesn't affect at all. And and if it is, you're you're being triggered, you know. And this is this is something that people just have to learn to turn it off. Turn it off on Facebook. Turn it off on Twitter. Turn it off on your television. Whatever. Turn it off. Go outside. Do the work. Uh, that's my my highest and best advice as a, a big sister. Uh, tough love. <laughs> get out of the, get out the house, and and get outside and and do some work. And it can be as creative as you want. Don't nobody tell me they don't know how to do it. You know how to do it. Go outside, see what happens. It's that easy. You want to grab crystals? Awesome. You want to play a bowl somewhere? Awesome. You want to do all of that? You want to grab a native flute? Go out and say I'm going to activate this entire mountain with this one note. Don't even think that you don't have the power to do that. Dear, divine, beloved, solar, cosmic, Christed, divine, human, ascended master that you are. <laughs> this is, uh, we're, we're moving into this, and very quickly. And when you get out and you do the work and you're, and you're presented with a sacred site, like, it's pretty, pretty dramatic. When you look at Cathedral Rock, you're like, wow. You know, and then you feel the energy, and it's like, yeah, yeah, it's good, all right. And it, and it feels completely, completely different over and over again completely different uh, for me personally um, but but you get outside and you you work with it what it doesn't matter if you're not clairaudient claircognizant clairvoyant it doesn't matter trust your heart trust your intuition and don't don't like read a, a manual somewhere and go we have to do it this way and then you get out and you're like I don't know it feels terrible you gotta you gotta go with the flow you gotta see what, what's available right here right now, but the, the energy that we're working with is of a much higher light intelligence, a much higher frequency than we had access to before. And as you open up these portals, these gateways, you know, Sedona's already a gateway. Of course. Of course. It's huge. It's a huge cross point on, the, on many different grids. It's a, it's a huge ET hangout, benevolent, 
no, no longer having any, anybody else hang out here. You know, these places, you are clear, clear, good, good to go. Honestly, I know, it's hard to believe, but we're, we're here. And, and for the, uh, for the folks doing the, uh, the Atlantean work, um, careful. You know, you don't want to sl slow yourself down or the shift down by doing something that um, you, you may or may not be aware of uh, what that actually does. So, so be very clear. I'm not criticizing anybody else's work. Just to be clear on people who are touchy, um, take a look at why, you're t why you are touchy. Just saying. Um, but, but when it comes to uh, opening these gateways, gatekeepers, a lot of people ask me, am I a gatekeeper? I wrote about this uh, last week. Uh, I'm, I'm of the ilk that I'm like, if, if you're a gatekeeper, you're probably out doing the work right now and don't need to ask. Or you got presented with dreams of gateways over and over again, or you're seeing stargates and you're guided to go to a certain space. You don't have to ask me. And write me for, if you need permission, all right, permission, permission granted. I think Bashar does that. Permission slip. Here you go. Um, and Bashar, that's, that's, you know, the Bashar, the Yael, you know, all of that stuff. It's all, it's all manipulative conspiracy, ET, against my will, blah, 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 rhetoric and, and stories until your hybrid children start showing up. And then it, your heart's going to break wide open with love. So you gotta let go of all of the old stuff, and uh, and kind of uh, uh, update your database. <laughs> you, you need you need the upgrade. This is um, this is the uh, the yeah the new version, the 2013 version. So here we are doing the work. The gateways pull in this interdimensional light, and they help accelerate the shift. How does it feel if you're sensitive? You're gonna feel really good, and it's it's like your your body is is sitting on a vortex. You know, the vortex energy always amplifies whatever it is you have going on. So if you feel emotional drama, if, um, I think Anelia wrote about um, people feeling angry. I haven't felt angry in a while, but this um, but the collective, yeah, I can see that. You know, and a lot of people getting pissy about. Um, uh, about things that other people are doing, um, my answer is always the same. What does it matter to your journey? Get on with it. We're creating whatever we want. If you want to create waiting and looking, you know, there's no armchair available. You know, you can watch the shift. You know, what, what's that about? Um, you are the shift. <laughs> if you're awake, you might want to take some responsibility and, and help speed it up. You know, if you're getting frustrated, it's your own, I'm sorry, it's your own fault. If you're getting frustrated, it means you're just frustrated with yourself. You know, the, the, the whole mirror thing, and the mirror is not a one-to-one. -one. You know, it's not a direct reflection of, that person is telling me this, and therefore I am that. You know, it's, it's not a one-to-one a -one ratio. Uh, the, the mirror is something that, that helps you transcend certain lessons that present. You know, or you're assisting other people. You know, I'll get into that with the emotional clearing. Ooh, which I can I can actually shoot that video in the next couple of days if this if this space holds true. <laughs> I've been presented with a space for four nights, um, which means I can I can shoot some video, which will be awesome. Um, and so this will be the the last one outside for for a little bit. Oh, so beautiful though, isn't it? It's great. It's great. To, it's great to be warm too. Very nice. Arizona. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I keep saying interesting because it's not it's not my favorite place. Not my favorite place in the galaxy. But it uh, feels a little, a little too much like Mars to me. But so it is, you know. That's that's my own thing. I have to uh, get over the whole Atlantis thing because it's, it's never going to happen again. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay. So from my heart to yours. Open up, dear ones. Open up to the highest skills. You are going to be shocked at what occurs. Oh, you know what I'm going to throw in this video? Okay, here's Grand Canyon before when I, when I got there. This is cloudy sky. I'm going to put the picture in here. And Grand Canyon after about 
30 minutes of uh, hunkering down on, on the south rim and opening the gateway. Yeah, notice the big spiral cloud. Okay, so, so why does this happen? When I, when I activate, I activate counterclockwise for me is opening up, opening up a portal, a vortex, a gateway. Um, sometimes it's Vesica Pisces, but, but when, I'm, when I'm doing like a big area, when you, when you get sent to the Grand Canyon, and I'm like, whereabouts on the Grand Canyon? And, and they, higher levels, again, it's me. It's me and all of my cohorts and my intergalactic cohorts. Um, you know, when, when we all go, oh, the whole canyon. <sighs> okay, that's, that's a perfect challenge for, for a light server to have. To, to realize you're there, you're ready, it's you, go. Pure conduit, open up, here we go. And, and it just happens, you know, working this big ooh, window over my video camera. Okay, um, opening up this, this big gateway and everything and, and invoking, commanding, decreeing, all the, all the stuff that comes with it. And feeling incredible presence, feeling the true self, the, the big me that I am, the, the much larger entity that I truly am, and, and all the different facets, all the, all the different uh, communities and families and, 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 and uh, councils, a lot of galactic councils, Gaian councils, uh, all kinds of councils presenting, um, which relates to those dreams that we we're all having back in December, you might start stepping up and going, oh yeah, this is part of the council work. And when I'm, I'm spinning this open, and after you know 30 minutes, I'm looking up at the sky, and the sky is is this you know the clouds are reflecting this big spiral. The elementals are giving me a big thumbs up. You know, it's it's not like oh look what I created. I considered it more of a, a confirmation, or or a thank you, or or maybe actual energy moving moving the clouds around in in that um, in that same pattern. But it was something that I I needed at that point. You know, it was like two weeks into this into this journey, feeling all these things, and it feels like really um, internal, personal sometimes, and other times it feels like ah, you know, you're you're like ten galaxies away, you know, going through galactic center, like sending energy. It's like oh wow, it gets very big, and when you don't, and sometimes you know, folks like me, you know, I'm tra I'm traveling, I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going to stay or anything, and and. I start getting frustrated or fatigued because the energy is like incredible when I'm doing this and then I, I was feeling a little wiped out so it was it was a nice confirmation that yes it's happening this is working so so here I am at Cathedral Rock and uh, and working with Sedona and it's it's beautiful it's beautiful to be here to appreciate it to love it to to have so many connections uh, with the Hopi here and those past journeys it's just it's really it's really beautiful it's like a nice little summation of everything and, and seeing and observing how much everything has changed and understanding what all of those uh you know all this old trials and tribulations ain't nothing you know i'm not just talking forty thousand years i'm talking two hundred forty thousand years beautiful beautiful to to be able to to, to shake it off Completely, you know, and then you have like little things present in your life and you're like, um, you know, like, I don't know, what's a good example? Oh, I, I camped out at Bell Rock and you're not supposed to. And I got woken up at 1 a.m. by um, a, a very adorable <laughs> deputy sheriff who just wanted to make sure I was okay. Hey, you know, this is federal land, uh, you're not supposed to camp out here. And, uh, you know, if they, if they catch you, you know, sleeping here or anything, um, you know, that you're going to get a, a ticket or a fine or something like that. But I just want to make sure you're okay. You're not cold. <laughs> like, it was just like, it's beautiful, you know. And I think it's just um, that energy, you know, that energy that we all carry around. Because everybody's like that. It's, it's very nice. But, but when, things, when things like that happen, I'm like, well, I, well, I can't camp there anymore because then it looks rude you know I want to honor the man's job as well I'm like well if I show up the next night and, it, and he's around you know that's not cool that's not cool in my book you know to uh, take advantage of people like that so I'm like all right well he, he told me the rules and I said cool thank you um, but you know little things like that present in your journey and 
and you know, I was very, I was very tired the next morning, and I'm like, uh, you know, must find a bed somehow, you know, and and um, and one one night of of sleep, you know, all, off the ground, out of my car, um, did wonders for me, you know. So you have to. There's there's the personal things, but there's so there's so much more going on. I mean, you could be easily triggered by all oh, those federal people. Well, that's technically our land. Blah blah blah. I mean, that whole polarity game, that duality stuff, is just so over <laughs> over for for a lot of us. And and when it presents, it's just like, you know, people are like, oh, the, the federal land. Well, you should fight this, fight that, or whatever. I'm like, um. I opened a fifth dimensional gateway over the Grand Canyon. <laughs> just, just saying, uh, it's okay that I ran out of water and almost fell over on my four-hour hike the first day through here. Not the smartest thing, but like it, you know, who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, it's like the bigger, the bigger stuff is fantastic, and the love is there, and the synchronicity continues to unfold and present lessons for us as individuals and collective lessons for moving out of the past completely because it's just it's just a it's a program you know you just you can get stuck there for a long time and the minute you you shake it off and go mm, not for me nope not participating doing something else that's your freedom yeah okay i know i've said that before all right so here we are fifth dimensional gateway Woo! how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see the moon too? Anywho, I love you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.